In this video, we'll have a quick look at what you need to know about using page sections in Thrive Content Builder. So if we look at a page here in the Thrive Content Builder editor, page sections, you can find them down here. So if I scroll down here, you can see page section and I can drag this in. And this is this gives me a background area to work with and I can put my text or any other content obviously inside this area. And if I click on the page section itself, I get these options that give me control over how this, you know, what this background looks like. So for example, I can give this a custom color, right? I can select any color I want for this background. And for example, if I make it dark like this, I can also change the text style to be light. So any text in this area will by default show up in a light color so that it contrasts against the background. And I can also have a background pattern or even a background image. So this you want to select a large image because it will cover the whole width of the screen. And you can also make this, um, you, if you select full height image, it will show, well, as you can guess, the full height of the image, even if the content inside it doesn't take up that much space. And if you don't select full height image, then it will, you know, the height of this section will just be determined by how much content is inside it. You can also select static image. And that means that it will, um, the image is static in the background as you scroll through it, right? And you can also add shadows and stuff like that. So as you can see, you have a lot of control over what exactly goes on in this page section and it's a pretty cool feature. But there's an important thing you need to understand about it. The page sections only work if you're using Thrive Content Builder with a Thrive theme. And that's also why you find it down here in the Thrive Theme Elements section. Now that might seem like a strange limitation, right? Why don't we just make this available for everyone? And the reason is that Thrive Content Builder is generally only works inside your content area. And the content area, just like this box here, right, is the content area. And the page section can go beyond this box and span the whole width of the screen. And because of that, I mean, the only way to make this possible, this is only possible if we know what this theme looks like essentially, right? Because different WordPress themes can have vastly different layouts and different sizes and dimensions of the content area. And there's just no way to, you know, to make this full width page section behave properly if we don't know exactly which theme you're using. So this is an element that must be compatible with the theme that you're using. And obviously we can easily make it compatible with our own themes, but we can't easily make it compatible with other themes. To show you an example of why this matters, if we change this to a default template, for example, we update this page, that means that now we have a sidebar in this page. And in, in this case, you know, we have to understand, oh, there's a sidebar here and we can't have a full width page section. Otherwise it would overlap with the sidebar and would, you know, strange things would happen on the page. And again, this is something that's very theme specific and different themes, different layouts will behave very, very differently. And that's why you must use a Thrive theme if you want to be able to use the page sections feature. 